What's up guys, Celestry here again doing a quick achievement guide for Signalis. As you can see this leaves game pass in two days. I would have done an earlier guide but I've been a bit busy. And this is very quick but it only works on PC game pass. It is on Xbox as well but if you're wanting to do this quickly you have to do it on PC. There's a debug menu and that's why. So otherwise it will take about 12 hours and good luck doing that in a couple days. <laughs> this game seems like it would be quite hard if you were doing it legit. But anyway let's jump into the achievement guide. So once you start up the game, you'll be greeted with this menu and we're going to turn the tech speed to fast. We're going to turn automatic reloading on and the combat accessibility to survival. This is how you get the difficulty based achievements. And then we're going to activate the debug menu once we get in the game and you guys will see how it works. So just get done and then go into the game. You can also plug in a controller to make it a bit easier to control. That's what I did. So I just plugged in my Xbox controller. For some reason it wasn't recognized at first, but then you'll see controller is connected. Just begin the game and then you can start skipping stuff with the B button. I don't know what it is on a, a keyboard, but I'm guessing it will show you. Basically just skip all the cutscenes, just hold B to do it. At the start I'm like, I don't, I don't know how to do this. I keep pressing it to think I can skip it, but then it just doesn't work. So you just have to hold it. And then you'll see it in the bottom right hand corner. Hold to skip. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go straight up through this door here and then up the ladder. You can also hold down B to run as well to make yourself a little bit faster. It's not really a run. It's more like a, a casual jog. They're not very scared in this game. But then at this part, what we're going to do before we go through the door, because we can't go through the door, is we're going to activate the debug menu. So what we're going to do first is hit F7. You won't see anything come up, but then type in... A-U-S-R-U-I-N-E-N and then hit enter and you'll see your character do that and as soon as you do that that's when you can press F7 again and you can actually get into the command menu. Okay and then the next part of this is where we hit F7. You see in the bottom left hand corner there's like a little bit that you type. You type give space airlock key and when you see it type come up in grey you can actually hit tab and it'll auto fill the rest of it and then what you do is hit enter and it will give you the airlock key. So we can do this with quite a lot of stuff in this game. So then you go through this airlock. I don't think this is actually the airlock. I think this is like a lift or something. Oh no, it is the airlock. It's in German, but I, I guess it looks like an airlock to me. <laughs> so what we do is we use the airlock key, which is what we just got gave ourselves. And this game is very easy with these console commands. I couldn't imagine playing this myself. I do like horror games, but I don't know if this is a game I'd play myself without having all these like cheats to basically skip through it. Because I love horror games, but this just feels like it would be a bit too slow for me. So what we're going to do is just going to skip all the cutscenes here. And when we come to this part, we're just going to keep mashing A. Use the cursor and just keep mashing A in that direction. And then you'll come up this hill, I guess it is. Like, it looks very cold. But I have no idea what the story is in this game. It just looks very creepy and cool. But go up here. It looks like the Deathly Hallows. We're going to go through the Deathly Hallows and just die. Or the Deathly Hallows gate or what the hell that thing in Harry Potter is. And then we're going to come to this big old hole. I do like the look of this game, but like I said, I don't know if it would be something I'd play normally. It has been sort of in my library for a while and I just never played it until now. And as soon as I saw it going off of Game Pass, I was like, oh no, better make a guide in case other people haven't played it. There's probably loads of guides already out there, but um, yeah, might as well just do one. So click on the hole and then crawl through it. And then just keep doing the same as what we did on the snow bit a second ago, click in the center and just go through. This looks like we're a turd or something. <laughs> we're like coming out of someone's butt. <laughs> uh, and then what we do is we just click on this area down here, grab this book. I think it's called the Yellow King or something. The King in Yellow. And then cutscene, which we skip because we don't want to waste time, we want to get these achievements out of the way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get the Synchronasiat achievement, I think it's called. You're going to hear me butcher all these names. But I'm going to try and talk to this entire guide because some people like me talking through the guide. Other people like me being quiet and then jumping in. But every guide I do, I sort of mix it up and just do a little bit of both. So then here, what we're going to do is bring up F7 again. And then we're going to type in bag 300. And that sets our bag size to 300. So we've got a very big bag now, which we can hold lots of items. And then we're going to do it again, F7. And then we're going to type in... Give... We're not going to type in space. I'm stupid. And I, I was like, oh, read in my head. Give space. Oh, no, you just type in give all. <laughs> so 
So I'm not going to say space because if you guys are doing what I do and you either read something or you hear something, you might just type it in anyway. So as you can see, we've got loads of items now, like billions of items. So we've basically got every item we need to get through the entire game. And then bring up the F7 menu again, type in go to whole classroom. So you can do the tab thing and auto fill this, but yeah, so go to is one word, but then whole and classroom are separate words. And then we just jump down the hole. The game does look kind of cool. I wish it had maybe not been so like weird looking. So then again, we're going to type go to elevator lobby. So like I said, go to is one word, elevator lobby, two words. Press the button, and then we just gotta wait for a bit, just spin around. Just I do like the character design. She's walking on like sort of very thin stilt legs, and she looks pretty cool. Also, it looks very anime on the title screen. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the card reader part down here, identification card, which we have because we have all the items basically. And then we're gonna click on number three, and the blue button, which is the up and down arrows. And I believe we get an achievement here as well. I do like that I can see the achievements pop up on the PC now on a recording. It makes it so much better because otherwise I'm just like, what the hell is this? And that is Beshalable. I'm just, yeah, I guess that's what it is. I also really can't see this while I'm talking over it. So whatever I'm saying, just take it with a pinch of salt. And then we just basically have to wait. We can't click on anything yet. Yep, so basically what we do is we just go out, left hand side door, click on that. And now we're out in this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the menu again with F7. Go to, one word, back office, two words. And then what we're going to do in here is we're going to use this computer and we're going to print out a card with a specific pattern. So use the blank key and pop it in here and then we're going to define pattern on the PC. So click on the PC screen. So here what you're going to do is press A on the top left corner then go right, down, right, up, down, right, up and then print that pattern. And that's going to print that pattern onto the key card so we can use it. There you go, blank key. Also I'm getting my points for uh, playing a PC game which is another good thing to do I guess. If you guys don't actually do the points thing for Microsoft, 100% get on it because you get a lot of points and a lot of money. So anyway, what we're going to type in now is go to, one word, waiting room, two words. And then we're just going to go up to the main door at the top. And we've got all these items, so all you do is just click on every single one of these. The L, the W, the K, the E, the F. And also I can see the, the Triforce there in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, every time I see that, even though I know it's not like, it's some people aren't referencing the Triforce. It just, it always reminds me of the Triforce because I've got a Triforce tattoo. And Zelda's like one of my favorite things. So we're going to go through the door. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to make a save at that red television in the top. Because this is where the first boss is. And we're going to let the first boss kill us 16 times. So click on one of the files and then click save. And um, don't click no like I did like an idiot. I was like, why didn't it save? Click on it and then move to the right and click yes. So we're going to drop down this hole. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky and it doesn't really come up very well when you go over to the hole. I had to run around like five minutes trying to get it to come up. So you drop down and then you're going to fight this weird looking boss enemy. And just let it kill you. 16 times. So literally keep jumping down the hole. Let it kill you. Best thing I noticed was literally just run up to it. For some reason it starts bleeding from the face. And then you can like literally as long as you're standing next to it, it will hurt you. So like that, I don't, yeah, I was like, am I hurting it here? Like, yeah, so you'll get that, sh I'm not even going to say the words anymore. <laughs> um, you get that achievement and then you're going to reload back to that save we just did. And then you're going to die 15 more times. So I'm going to cut to when we actually die that many times because it does take about 10, 12 minutes. Okay, so this is where the achievement pops. It was a little bit slow for me, so before you jump down the hole, just wait a few seconds because as you can see, I load in and then it unlocks. So it's called Luker. I believe that's how you say it. Because it's like Guten Tag. Luker. Is that how you say it? Any Germans in the comments, let me know. <laughs> but yeah, so what we're going to do next 
before we drop down again, since we've got the achievement for dying 16 times, we are going to bring up the command menu again with F7, and we're going to type in Kami. Kami means God, so this basically enables God mode. So what we're going to do is drop down and skip the cutscene like we've been doing, and then hit F7 again. You can let it hit you, it won't kill you. And then just type in kill once you hit F7. And it kills it. There you go. Easy as that. And then hold to skip. Skip, 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 skip. And we're going to get the Abwurtz achievement. <laughs> I really hope I'm pronouncing these somewhat right. So we're going to end up in this classroom, skip the dialogue, turn around, go to the door, press A to open the door, and then just go around the left. And then just go all the way to the left, and then left again. And then there's going to be a little bit of light coming through a doorway, as you can see here. Go up to it, and that will trigger this next area. So what we're going to do is skip, skip, skip again. skip -a -roo. this is what makes this so fast. Just keep skipping everything. And then we're going to wake up in this elevator full of us. Lots of bodies of us. Open up the command menu, F7. Type go to, don't type space because I'm an idiot and I keep typing space sometimes. Go to mine shaft access. So I did tab there and filled out easily. So use the administrator's key because we've still got all this stuff. And then just go down the elevator. And you should unlock another achievement on the way down, I believe. Am I lying? Who knows? Liminalitat. Liminalitut? There you go. That's the achievement there. Liminalitat. Liminalitut. Liminalitat. Because I know those little dots above it mean things. I, I don't know. I did German in high school years and years ago. Years ago. So go out and then F7 again. Go to the hole. Two words. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to jump into the hole. <laughs> I can't imagine how you get around in this game. I feel like it would be very, very spooky. But I'm glad we're playing it like this. Just kind of like that underwater horror game. Can never remember the name of it. So what we're going to do, um, I move forward a little bit. Just stay exactly still. Otherwise, it will take about five minutes. So it takes about two minutes here. So just stand exactly still for two minutes. I'm going to skip ahead to when it triggers. But literally stand here for two minutes. The screen will go red and something will tick down and then you'll go out of this. Soma, that's the name of it. I've been racking my brain while I've been editing here. Soma. Like, I hate underwater things in video games and Soma was like my absolute fear. Subnautica is actually a big, bigger horror game for me than any horror game is. Because I hate underwater stuff. But anyway, like I said, you just wait, it loads up, then you wake up in this area here. And then, what we're going to do, open F7 again, go to, one word, Space, hole, just hole, not the hole, just hole. And then we're going to go down hole, and we're going to skip, and we're fighting a boss again, so just bring up your menu, F7, kill. And then your companion here, I think she either shoots herself or she knocks herself out with a gun, even though you already killed the thing. <laughs> but I was like, oh well, I killed the boss, but she died anyway. But she didn't apparently die. What happened is she just knocked herself out. Or hurt herself in some way. So this part is unskippable, I believe, because otherwise I would have skipped it by now. And then she's going to be on the bed here, and you're going to go up to her and give her a drink. If she doesn't wake up for some reason, you can go to the right over here, and it basically reloads the room so she gets up. So just go out and then back in. Yeah, this game looks very creepy. Um, good job we don't actually fight any of those. So what we're going to do is go back to her, and this is where we're going to get two achievements for the weapons. So since we actually have all the weapons in our inventory, we're going to have to remove them. So press F7 and then do your normal thing of typing and stuff. Don't do what I'm doing right here. So F7, remove, revolver. And then that takes that out of the inventory. And then we're going to do remove rifle because the rifle she's going to give you. So then you have to go into your inventory. To get the revolver, you have to open up a case that should be in your inventory, but it is so full of weapons, it takes freaking forever to find. So you'll see me slowly scrolling through here, trying to figure out which things I need and which things I don't need. 
because it was just easier to give us all our stuff. I believe I just went past the key. No, I didn't. It's there. So you use the hunter's key, combine that, and then you'll find the gun case, I believe it's called. Keep scrolling, just keep on scrolling. You'll see it. It's just it's better to look at the pictures than it is to look at the top. Like the actual full pictures, because it looks just like a yellow case. Like a yellow sort of hazmat type case. So what you're gonna do is keep scrolling, keep scrolling until you see the yellow case. Ignore all these. I'm pretty sure we don't use like 90% of these items. There it is. So open this. So just hit A, and then you'll unlock the revolver, and the game scrolls all the way back through all the items I've done. So there you go. That is Einhorn. That kind of reminds me of uh, Ace Ventura. I remember watching that when I was younger. What was it again? Was it Finkel and Einhorn? I don't know if that was the one with the... What do you call it? The rhino where he crawls out his butt. But basically what we're going to do is talk to her. She'll be like, oh, here, take the rifle because I'm terrible with it. And then you're going to pick up the rifle and that will unlock the nitro achievement. So that's that. And then from here, open up your thing again. F7, go to tree and then we're going to go up to the main area here the big pentagon hexagon octagon whatever it is and then pop in all these things here just kind of the similar thing with the key cards in the door it's a hexagon it's got six sides <laughs> before anybody in the comment goes oh he doesn't know his is it geometry he doesn't know basic shapes so climb up the climb up the ladder thing here and this should give you one of the endings. Don't ask me how this gives you an ending. I don't even know where I am in this game at this point. <laughs> so skip all the cutscenes. Keep skipping. Keep on pressing that skip button. Even skip these. And then you get Das End. And the actual screen changes. So she looks pretty beat up now. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin again. It doesn't actually begin from the very beginning of the game. It sort of tricks you into thinking that, but you literally press begin and you're already still sort of in further into the game than you would be. So start in the same area, you go up, go up the ladder. And then you go down. And keep going down, all the way down. And then in here, just click on the console, just spam A. Spam, spam, spam. Get closer. Click on the console. See some dialogue. Everything's normal. Cool. All good. Let's go back. So all the way back. Through the door again. So you press B to get out of that. And then you go right where the ladder was. And then in here, click on this console as well. Penrose, whatever the hell this thing is some sort of part of the ship. Yeah, so click on it a couple times just to make sure the dialogue comes up. And then we're going to go back out the room. And we're going to go over to the other side of the room. And then up. And then click on the reactor here. You see this thing get pretty messed up later. So reactor skill system's all good. I just inspect it a couple times just to make sure. And then go right again. And then we're going to go up into this life support type room. And then inspect these. Looks like everything's all good. Cool. Go back down. And then to the right. And then should be able to skip these. Yep. Skip all these. And then we are pretty messed up now. So you just want to go through to the left if you can. Yep. And then go up. And you'll see this weird pulsating blob in this room. So skip. And then back out. All the way down. And there's a hole. So jump down the hole. This is one of those games where you have no clue where to go if you were playing this normally. It's so weird. So what we're going to do is walk. This is kind of similar to the last section where we just stood still, but we're going to have to walk this time. So walk towards the red light that you can see in the distance, and that puts you on a boat, I believe it is. It looks like a boat anyway. Some sort of weird little dinghy. 
But yeah, this this game is cool looking, and I like the sort of sci-fi horror premise because I like that sort of thing, like System Shock sort of. But the I don't think I'd enjoy this if I played this myself. Maybe it was a stream game, but because then you can get people into it and talking about how the puzzles and stuff work. But I think if you were playing this by yourself, it'd just be very annoying. So then jump on the boat, and then skippy skippy skip again. And Gestalts or Fall? That one should be pretty spot on. You can't really get that wrong. So then open up the menu again, go to whole classroom. And then we're gonna jump down the hole again. Don't ask me why all those commands were there, they just pop up when you've when that's happened. I'm guessing it's something to do with the game. But I didn't put in all those commands. So then we're gonna be here and we don't actually have any items here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to give ourselves all the items back. So give all. So F7 give all. Two words again. And then we're going to have to do this little puzzle here, which is literally just rotating these uh, sundial things around until they're in the correct position. So just rotate a few of them until you get them to this position, which I'll show you now. So just like that, top left has nothing in it. The next one has a tiny bit on the top left. And then next one, tiny bit top right. Next one, full circle, then tiny bit top left, and then almost fully covered on the right. So easy as that, and then it'll open. Just like in the previous part, we're going to click on it, and we're going to go through it, through the bum hole again, and then we're going to be in the same sort of room. Basically, it is the same room with the, the king of yellow, or the king in yellow, or the yellow king, as I call them. So click on that, king in yellow, yep, pick it up again, and then we're going to go out of this room, And then what we're going to do is I make a save here because this is basically the last boss of the game. And I actually disable god mode at the end of the game just to make sure that nothing goes wrong, no achievements don't unlock and things like that. But what we're going to do when we go into this is obviously leave forever and then we're going to run all the way up to where the boss actually is. It's a very weird boss. It seems more like a Dark Souls boss than it does this sort of games boss. You would think it would just be more like a run away section since this is a horror game. But you literally have to shoot it. So I just bring out a gun and just start blamming it. So yeah, this thing here turns into the boss I believe. Either that or something attacks us. But yeah, this is the boss here. So pause it. And then you can bring up the command menu while you're in here. So I just make sure that we have all the items again. So give everything. And then I make sure that cami mode is still enabled, just in case something's went wrong. So I turned it off, so that means it was on. So turn it back on. Yep. And then lawnmower. This gives you infinite ammo, so you can just keep unloading on the boss. So I didn't actually know how to combat in this game until this point. So I was like, how do I actually shoot? So basically just equip a gun. I equipped the, the submachine gun, because I thought more bullets probably better than that. And then what you do is you hold left trigger and right trigger. Uh, so hold left trigger which is aim and then right trigger to shoot kind of like the old resi games and then just keep unloading on the boss just like this when you see that little icon over it, it means that you're actually shooting them and then you just run up and press a and it will stab them and then they're going to start throwing spears so it's the same thing basically all these all these things that happen here so they'll start throwing spears when they get hurt and what you want to do is you want to pick up the spears so you'll see the spears on the ground there so you want to make sure you're damaging, get the enemies off you basically. Pick up the spears, and then once this thing needs to be stabbed after you've shot enough times, you stab it with a spear. So every time I shot it, I would grab a spear, stab it, grab a spear, shoot it, stab it, etc. So the way you actually aim in this game as well is you can aim with a right stick. So at this point I was just letting the game sort of all aim for me. But it can get quite annoying when it starts bringing up stuff around it and other enemies so if you're aiming with LT you can aim with the right stick as well so if you're holding left trigger you can aim with the right stick and then obviously just shoot with right trigger but at this point just make sure you're grabbing a spear it will keep interrupting you with this weird scream thing for some reason it just went down there which is odd I think if you do enough damage to it and it's stuck in an animation it will have to take time to get back up so pick up a spear as soon as possible and then at this point, I think this is where I started to realise how to actually aim in this game. It might have been later on. 
But no, at this point I was like, no, it doesn't seem like it's aiming. So this is where you can actually move, move the gun and shoot it. So as long as you've got god mode on, you're totally fine here. Just keep shooting. And it will go down eventually. There you go. And then run up and stab it again. And then we're going to grab another spear before anything happens. Stupid items all over the place. We try to grab a spear, not whatever the hell that was. I don't need health. There you go. So just make sure you shoot these enemies. Yeah, at this point I was like, no, there must be a better way to aim. So then this is where I figured out, oh, you can aim with the right stick. What a great innovation in gaming. <laughs> But yeah, this uh, this game is uh, very strange, very strange game. I have no idea what's going on here. It seems like robot people have turned into like zombies, and then you've got God or something throwing spears at you. No clue, not a clue. Usually when I'm playing these games, I'm just skipping past everything. I can infer something from it, but this gives you no information. It just looks weird. It's like any of the JRPGs or Persona games. It's like oh, high school student, then kills God. Yeah, and that's that's how they work. <laughs> Those are my sort of, uh, those are my games, JRPGs and stuff like that. I love how they work. But then grab the last spear here, and then just aim through the gaps, just like this. If I didn't know how to aim at this point, I would have been like, this would have been very frustrating, because the game doesn't aim very well for you. But at this point, I knew exactly how to aim and where to aim. So pretty easy. Just gun this thing down. Keep on shooting it in the butt. There you go. And then run up to it and stab it. And there you go. That is basically the game done. So once all this cutscene and everything runs out, you'll unlock all the achievements. So I turned off God Mode here just in case. I, I don't know how command things work with games sometimes. You know, you never know with Xbox. Sometimes the achievements don't unlock randomly. So I'm making sure nothing affects anything here. So I turned off God Mode. You don't need to do it if you don't want to. I just did it just in case. And then we're just going to make sure that we skip everything. So hold and skip. Yep, 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 yep. Skip, 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 skip. And then you should unlock three or four achievements after we've done this last little bit here. So just head straight up from the area that we start in. Just through the door. And then left. And then up through the... I was about to say generator, but no, it's the reactor. Or whatever it's called. But yeah, this place is messed up now. So go right once you get in there. And then go all the way to the top. And then, yes, we're going to go home. E.T. phone home. It looks like whoever's in that bath is definitely dead. But then skip everything and you'll unlock all the achievements. And that is a very fast 1000G from Signalis on the PC. That kind of rhymed. But yeah, very weird game i probably wouldn't have enjoyed it if i played it normally but skipping around with console commands is actually quite fun sometimes and yeah remember to get this done before it goes off game pass you've got two days so basically when october ends that's when the game goes away so if you like this guide guys remember to leave a like share the video i have other guides down in my channel and other random achievements from different games so if you like anything like that go give them a watch and yeah good luck achievement hunting guys if you want to view me playing games live or anything like that or chat to us there's discord and there's twitch Links are down below. You have a great day, and I'll see you in the next achievement video, guys. Bye-bye.